Hi guys, Nature of Bodybuilding channel with you today. Because of the incredible interest to my video about what happens when female bodybuilders retire, I've decided to make another video about this topic, showing you the other top female bodybuilders and telling you about them a bit. So let's start. The first in our list is Vicky Gates, who used to be Ronnie Coleman's girlfriend. By the way, they dated for almost 7 years. Judging by the photos from Vicky's Instagram, they're still on friendly terms anyway. Let's circle back to the time when Vicky competed, particularly to the 90s and early 2000s. She took part in Miss Olympia contests for 8 times and got really good places. Apart from 2003, when she finished the 7th, she never went lower than 5th place. In 2000 Miss Olympia she was about to win the title, but because of the several changes to the contest, she wasn't able to do it and finished only the second in the heavyweight division after Valentina Chipiga. She is literally an uncrowned Miss Olympia. In my opinion, she deserved to win Miss Olympia contest. If she had won, then we could have seen a couple of Olympia winners. Unfortunately, it never happened. Vicky Gates finished her career in 2003 and now she is 56. I think that she looks great for her age, she still keeps fit and involved in bodybuilding sphere as a personal bodybuilding coach. Well, the next sports person is actually Valentina Chipiga, who won 2000 Miss Olympia, not allowing Vicky Gates to date Mr. Olympia as Miss Olympia, so to speak. I have already made a video about Valentina, but I would like to show you her current shape now. Taking into account her correlation between her height of 165 cm or 5 foot and 5 and weight of 62 kg or 137 pounds, she wasn't that big in comparison to Vicky. I believe that Valentina was like a current women's physique competitor, so maybe because of that you can't see a lot of differences between her competing shape and her current shape in the photos from her Instagram. It seems to me that sometimes she almost brings back her competing shape, which is incredible for a 56-year-old woman. Number 3 in our list is Andrula Blanchett, who was also 2000 Miss Olympia winner, but in the lightweight division. In my opinion, despite being in the lightweight division, she was more muscular than Valentina, the winner of the heavyweight division. Anyway, Andrula, like Valentina, still keeps fit and can even show off her biceps nowadays. In my opinion, Andrula just lost a bit of her quality and separation, but she still looks like a bodybuilder. I don't think that lots of women can look like her at the age of 52. For instance, Andrula has recently uploaded a video on her Instagram, where she performs chin-ups relatively easy. So, in a nutshell, Andrula is phenomenally fit for her age. The next sports person on the agenda is Juliet Bergman. Currently Bergman is the most successful Dutch bodybuilder in the world by being the only Dutch bodybuilder to win the Miss Olympia title, particularly 2001 Miss Olympia defeating Andrula Blanchett. She won the lightweight division and overall that year. Since 2009, she has been the president of IFBB in Netherlands, director of IFBB in Thailand and a member of IFBB executive council. As for her shape, I haven't found any photos showing her current conditioning, so the photos just show how she looked when she was young and how she looks now. Anyway, judging by the photos, it's obvious that she is one of the most influential people in IFBB now. Finally, I want to show you the current shape of Yolanda Hughes, who took part in six Miss Olympias from 1992 to 1995 and from 1997 to 1998. Her best placing was in her last Miss Olympia, when she ended up finishing the second after Kim Chizhevsky. Yolanda now is 55 and her conditioning is also incredible. So guys, I have chosen 5 female bodybuilders who were in their prime in the late 90s and thousands to show you what actually happened when they stopped competing. I haven't placed them in any particular order in this video. I've placed them only just so that we can see that unlike male bodybuilders who tend to lose almost all of their gains when they stopped competing, females in general tend to lose their muscle quality, separation and striations, but they still keep fit. There are of course some examples when females become almost man-like after bodybuilding or even powerlifting career, but these representatives were and are all top female bodybuilders with incredibly successful bodybuilding career and they still look feminine. 
So the bottom line is that it's not only about what performance enhancement drugs they have taken in order to transform their bodies, but how and when, and what lifestyle they started to follow after their careers ended. But this is completely the other topic. Well guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Good luck.